Optimal use will be made of the 635 acres of seeded land by Del Monte and other idle land within <coughs> the county to alleviate housing pressures. The county government of Kiambu got from Del Monte uh, about 635 acres of land which was previously under Del Monte uh, held in three parcels along uh, thicker Garissa highways, highway that can be utilized uh, with good planning by uh, the county government of Kiambu in collaboration with this county assembly to come up with a framework that will be attractive to the investors that we may want to, to, to bring on board given the fact that uh, as you all know uh, in my administration during my campaigns and which we did joint with most of you and which by inference then is uh, part of our plan moving forward as a whole assembly because of the campaigns then we have all become one team. Then we will own that vision and mission. And I'll be asking the assembly that on this one critical issue of deciding how do we put that land to good use so that with our vision to develop and grow thicker into an industrial smart city, that we shall also come up with good plans that will create not only employment but will also ensure that we can alleviate the problem of housing in Kambu. That we can also use that land because 635 acres of land is enough land uh, to ensure that other critical infrastructure in Kambu County is also developed so that towards the end of our tenure together, uh, we will have something to show to the people of Kiambu that we have done to ensure that the next generation uh, can live better lives than we are. And so we'll be inviting you, members of the county assembly, to help us to come up with the legislation that is necessary for us to achieve uh, most of what uh, we intend to do on this matter of putting that land to use. As the governor of Kambu County, I will lobby to have Thika Town elevated to city status. The Thika Industrial Smart City will be a technologically modern urban area that uses information and communication technology, include directing, street lighting, putting up of traffic lights, and have in place road diversions to create congestion and ease traffic congestion. In addition, Kiambu Town will be decongested and upgraded into a technologically advanced administrative capital to serve all Kiambu County's residents. We have laid down all the top priority projects, including other major roads. We intend to deal Fika Road from the roundabout all the way down to Garissa, and we have confirmed uh, to Garissa Road down via landless that the designs for the, the, that road are ready. And as I said in our other engagement elsewhere, that uh, we shall move to fast track, that that will ease the congestion and the lockdown that is around the, those areas of thicker, so that uh, value can be found. Within the same proposal, we have proposed that we are going to be upgrading our market in, uh, in Baker. Uh, I think. Um, in as far as the proposals by our government for this five-year CIDP plan, uh, most of you, once we bring it forward for your examination, you will see that uh, we have intended to ensure that we touch on each of our sub-counties and each of our wards with the project that we are coming with. I would want to take the opportunity also to call on the land issues to prick the conscience of, the, of this county assembly as we engage in this uh, new term and tenure that we should last us five years. But if you, for example, look at uh, Kiambu Town, you realize that uh, we have a lot 
of government installations which occupy critical and useful land that can be put to use for commercial purposes that would be more meaningful to service delivery and better livelihoods. And it is my thought and proposal that as we move on, we shall also be engaging you as members of the county assembly to answer this critical question. Is it useful for the county of Kiambu and for example, the Kiambu administrative capital, which is in Kiambu town, that we should be having government facilities which can render services a few kilometers away from here and occupy within the town center, for example, five, ten acres of land that can be used to expand uh, the business concerns and useful, gainful uh, use that will be that, that, that can put not only the country of Kiambu but the people around this area in a better position of uh, some of the other installations. For example, would we want to ask uh, some of the installations around here, like the golf club, that we could engage with them and tell them, can we show you some good place that you can play golf nearby here and this land is in the, center, the town center, we can put it to better use. Would we engage and ask we engage and ask uh, other installations, like uh, some that we hold very dear, like for example the senior members, now, I'm not saying we are going to move it, but can we sit and engage with those kind of people, ask the whole house and stay, and we can use all these acres of land to grow and develop a new Kiambu uh, administrative capital that will be more useful. Those are critical questions that this uh, assembly must address itself to of such land because definitely they call it legally. Kenya is a country of hustlers, and Kiambu is the definition of a, of a hustler county. To actualize this, my administration, with the help of honorable members of this assembly, will establish the Kiambu People's Bank, and to provide accessible, affordable, county back loans and financing to the people of Kiambu without the heavy demands of high interest rates and collateral security and, and collateral security. This is the true definition of a bottom-up approach. There was a deposit that was put in Kenya Commercial Bank to start that engagement of about 130 million. We want to grow this together with the collaboration of His Excellency the President, Dr. William Samuel. And it is the intention that with the right infrastructure of law that the county assembly would help us to put in place. We intend to approach his excellence as the president so that he can assist his number one supporter, which is Kiambu County, with funds to build a one billion hustlers revolving fund. And then together with members of this assembly and other members of the community, we can engage in the process of changing the lives of our people using that truly bottom-up.